Hello everyone, welcome to the Friday review, and today I'm going to do my review on the Gamile gaming keyboard. Uh, when I first seen this, I thought it'd be an okay keyboard uh, to use, um, and Gamile had a promotional offer that you get a rebate back, uh, a full rebate back, um, the price you paid for this, and... I decided to go ahead and do that, and well, it is a very big disappointment of a keyboard. Um, I can just say that right now. Um, so, let's get started with the review. So overall, this is what the keyboard looks like. Um, over overall, I did like how the keyboard was designed and all. But there was a few aspects that I did not like. Um, for example, the small backspace key, I can never get used to typing ever on any keyboards that had the small backspace key. Um, I don't know why, it's just I'm just used to the big old backspace key. Um, and so that was one thing that I didn't really like, uh, but that's not that big of a deal. Um, you got these rubberized keys, which Gamayo does include um, a key removal to remove them and replace them with the standard plastic key, which is, is still a plastic key, it's just got rubber um, on it. So that where it stands the keyboard out and non slip. Um, and then up here we got 10 pro programmable buttons where you can program different features um, to it um, for like games and different things. Um, I know the one thing that I did do was set like this set of keys for audio controls where I can skip, pause, and stop music. Um, that's an option. This keyboard does offer profiles for games. Uh, you just press the function key and press like F1, F2, F3. Quick, um, um, quick items um, and different things um, and different things. So that is nice. Uh, and also down here, th this logo does light up blue, uh, but there's no other option to like turn it off or anything. It just kind of stays on. Uh, you got a nice glossy like finish down here where you're. Um, arms will rest. Um, um, so overall, the keyboard is great. Um, but down here, uh, you got your um, feet, keyboard feet, um, and holes. Um, these holes will allow you. Um, liquid to come out of them if you do spill something. So this is kind of a waterproof um, keyboard um, and all that. Uh, you do got um, these uh, grip things here where it's not supposed to slide on the desk, but I noticed they do not stop the keyboard at all. Um, I did notice that that the grips on the bottom do not stop the keyboard from moving. Um, and with the legs up, the keyboard looks a little bit taller and then it slides even more because the feet do not have any type of rubber finish on them. So they do move. Not sure why this is here. Um, I guess you, there was an option that Gamayo could get to make this a wireless keyboard, but that's, I don't know why you would want this keyboard wireless. Um, so overall, the keyboard is great, but if you are going to use this with a Mac computer, um, for example, I use Adobe Boot sometimes with my Mac, 
um, so I use Windows and um, OS X. This keyboard will not work with Mac OS X. Uh, the mapping of the keys are completely wrong in OS X, uh, and there's no way to fix that. I contacted Gamile about it, and the vendor did come back and say that to them that this keyboard is not compatible with Mac OS X. That was kind of a very big, big disappointment for me uh, because that means I could not use this as my daily keyboard. Um, and quite frankly, this wouldn't have been my daily keyboard anyway. But if you do, are if you are thinking about getting this keyboard, then and if you do do the same thing that I do, you should just pass on this keyboard. Uh, and it makes no. This is the first keyboard ever that I have ever reviewed that and ever gotten that this that it did not work with OS X. Um, I quite frankly, I don't know how they can mess this up to not work with OS X, but. I guess you can. Um, that's also another thing. And you also get um, a driver CD that has the driver and the manual on it. Uh, but, again, this is another place where Gamayo kind of fails at that you cannot download the driver directly from their website. You have to contact support for them to send you the software CD for or contact you for a download link or you can also ask for another disc if you want it to download uh, the driver which makes no sense why they can't just have like a link on their description page or something um, to download it um, but that that is another kind of a pet peeve that it's hard to get the driver so and you on this keyboard for it to work correctly in Windows you have to install the software um, it works a little bit um, on Windows without the software but I would highly suggest you to install the driver because it's kind of a nightmare um, and you have to also, and if you are going to install the software, you have to have the keyboard plugged in for the software to completely install, which is kind of odd, but it is what it is, I guess. Um, so, um, since we're uh, talking about the software, I will meet you um, inside the computer to look at the software, okay? Okay, and now here is the software that you used to program the keys and all that. Uh, so overall, right here, um, you got your profiles where you can set the profiles of the um, keyboard. So profile two, I've not set anything as. Uh, profile one is what this looks like right here. Um, you can actually surprisingly change even the standard keys too. Um, which I don't know why you would want to, but you can. Um, so, yeah, this is the keyboard. Um, and these are additional profiles you can set um, if you want to. Um, I, I don't know how you load them where you can choose them, but, yeah, uh, this is really what the software it looks like um, you got the reset all button up here and then over here where this is at it's just the start and all that um, down here you can also link applications to a button um, and you find the application that's nice um, auto switch is um, where you can automatically switch to a key or something on all that um, you can also make combos um, for different things. Um, and you, over here you can uh, go to the media player and select the media player you want it to automatically open. Um, but that's what that is. Um, so this is what 
the software looks like. Uh, it's not too fancy. Uh, quite frankly, other keyboards that I've used that have software like this, this is by far the worst key keyboard software I've, I've ever seen um, because it's very, very confusing. Um, so yeah, that's basically it about this keyboard that I would highly not recommend you getting this keyboard if you want to use it just as a plain keyboard. Um, for gaming keyboard, I wouldn't suggest getting that either. I would suggest probably staying away from this keyboard. For the price of what it is, you can get a lot better keyboards for that same price. Um, so yeah, this has been my review on the Gamile gaming keyboard. I hope you like this video. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And also, I will have a link down below where you can save 20% off of this keyboard if you want to pick it up. Um, but if you do, I do warn you, beware of it. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.